Hello and welcome to what is unfortunately the last challenge of my Western New York Boot Challenge Tour. This is Day 5, Challenge 5. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everyone, I'm about to take on the 88 Mike Soldier Challenge here at Milner's Southern Smoke. I have been very excited to do this challenge because barbecue challenges are always super fun. I will have 45 minutes to eat everything that's in front of me. If I can eat everything in the 45 minute time limit, then I will get the meal free, a t-shirt, and I'll go up on the wall of fame. I will put what I'm eating as I eat on the screen, and then at the end of the video, I'll post my final stats along with my recommended stomach capacity in the case you would like to try this challenge. If you enjoy the video, you can help out my channel by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon to be notified when my new videos come out. My goodness, all right. <laughs> all right, I have 45 minutes. We're gonna start the timer and uh, see how I do. All right. He's going for the ribs first. Facts. Most people save those for last. Hmm. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that cornbread. So how many? These are think? delicious, <laughs> and they're hot. So I'm going to save them for a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, our food is too hot. Good. The other stuff's been sitting here a minute, so he, he can devour that a little better. Okay, so who thinks he's gonna do it? Let me hear you guys. Yes, it's been a while. They just said, haven't seen anyone do this challenge in a hot minute. Yes, we've been laying a little low, so we were excited when he called us. Hopefully we can roll it back out. Gail says, you are going to do it. He's, that brisket went right down, so. <coughs> Tracy said it's making her all sorts of hungry. does he have? Trudy, come on, don't act. This is your first time watching. 45 minutes. I call it the meat wall. They hit the meat wall. Like all of a sudden you see it in their face, they just can't do anymore. Yeah, it's worth it. 
He always wears gloves. So he doesn't touch his equipment and stuff with Oh, makes sense. That's smart. So he doesn't get his cameras and phones off and stuff. Makes sense. He doesn't like to leave to go to the bathroom because then people question why he's going to the bathroom. That's 39 more minutes. 39.18. Sylvia <laughs> so said he is not playing. He sure is not. He might set the new record. I have to look what the last, but I know last time it was close, you know, towards the end of the 45. So for this challenge, they give you barbecue sauce, they have different flavors, but it is not required. <clears throat> He's just choosing to. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because pork is dry. But he ate that chicken without any kind of sauce. That's usually the hardest. The challenge costs $45 because we had a question. It says, let's say he doesn't finish it. What's the challenge cost? Is this an option? No, it is not an option on the menu <laughs> because... <laughs> we would lose our shirt. <laughs> this is, you know, a fun thing that we started, you know, kind of like a publicity, get our name out there. So no, this is not a menu option because we've even had people start being funny. Well, then I'll just do the challenge and only eat half a pound. Well, guess what? Then you're not going to get the leftovers. So it is $45 um, that gets charged if he does not finish it. And if he finishes it, his name goes on the wall of fame and he gets a t-shirt. And for you guys that don't know, the 88 Mike Soldier Challenge is actually in memory of my sister, which gave her life in Iraq. And she was an 88 Mike, which is an MOS, which is a truck driver. So as everything else on our menu, for you guys that are familiar with the business, we've named like all the stuff on the menu after people. So when we started this challenge, we of course were trying to see who we can name it after. The challenge it is pulled pork, pulled chicken, brisket, macaroni and cheese, french fries, ribs, smoked beans, and cornbread. Oh, and a $50 <clears throat> gift certificate. I forgot about that. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not meaning to move you all around. He is moving. He has 36 minutes and 48 seconds. And I mean, he's ate two of the meats already. Yeah. <laughs> Holy town. He's going to town. Yes, he is. You have 45 minutes to eat all the food. All food has to be finished in 45 minutes. Which, I mean, I think he's not going to have an issue. We're moving on to, oh, he's got it. Meat's gone, well, except for the ribs. We're coming back to those, but other meats are gone. He's getting ready for the mac and cheese, I think. Nope, going back to the ribs. Matt said he would need an hour. <laughs> I might need to start making them ribs competition style for the eating challenge instead of fall off the bone. <laughs> I'm helping you out over here. <laughs> competition style. Competition style is if it like has a bite to it and you have to kind of work it off the bone. We always joke about it.
off at that point if you can. I don't know if it matters if it tastes good. He's moving. Probably helps though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just talking about the food today. When the food's good, it makes it easier. Because imagine having to eat almost, well, six pounds of food that's horrible. Yeah, exactly. The fastest time, I, I'll have to ask my husband because I know we were towards the end. It was close to the 45 minutes, so he definitely is moving at the fastest pace we have had so far. Because the last one, like I said, we were actually worried that he wasn't going to finish when he got to the cornbread. So, obviously, fastest time was 43 minutes, and he is, we still have 31 minutes remaining. And I mean, he's not even sweating yet, is he? <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> he, yes, he is concentrating. Like I said, no smack talk, no none of that. He's like, I'm just going to show you business. I'm not going to talk about it. Yes, exactly. Half an hour left. Yes. We have only had one person actually complete the challenge. I believe we've had six try. Should have rolled myself a few more. Well, Marjo has been backing me up. Yeah, one has completed. <clears throat> yes, they are. somebody else already asked about the gloves. Um, she said he always wears gloves. It's so that way when he's done, because he's going to have to touch his equipment, so he doesn't get his equipment all greasy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she goes, whoa, I stepped away for 10 minutes. This guy's housing that stuff. <laughs> Yes, he is definitely not, and, and the bones are even clean. Like, that's what I'm talking about. I guess we got a little piece of gristle right there. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he even has time to smile. Isn't that something? <laughs> Me any room to talk about him, is he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, mm -mm, I'll try it. One of those mottos is leave no doubt. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to bring people out the woodwork. He's, setting, he's making sure he's like, No, all those fries go last. What's that? 1820. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. He has time for a breather. All right, so we're about 18 and a half minutes in. I finally got all the meat down. Um, still got cornbread, uh, beans, fries, mac and cheese, and we're gonna keep going. Well, Sylvia, I think there's a very good chance of it. I'm sorry, I'm like waving all over the place. Because he's not even at 20 minutes yet. And He's on the last two things, so. We're going to have somebody tuning in and it's going to be done. And they're going to be like, I thought you were having the challenge. <laughs> We have 25 um, minutes. No, I think I'm okay. Might, 25 minutes drive, left. An hour timer. We were just like a few seconds apart. Uh oh, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Get the little breath and shake. <laughs> He's making more room. It's important to breathe instead of drink. Yes. Because you, 
mac and cheese gets caught, so instead of drinking it down, I take a breath and let it go down. Now we got people saying they will dip the fries in the yeah. bins. Oh, left the oh she, right. she's got his back. He had left one macaroni. Right. Leave no doubt. We are now. Oh, there's a piece of cheese. No. <laughs> she said, you got to get that noodle. He's usually really good about that. He usually would want that slide. He's like had like a piece of lettuce hit the table and he's been like, nope, that's that's part of the challenge. Oh, well, because some people, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're a little bit into this challenge. These are still really hot. <laughs> okay. Too hot? I was gonna say pour them on all your dishes, I guess. Uh-oh, I made him break his protocol. Normally I save these to the end, but um, we're gonna get into it. I can't believe, well, I can't believe they're still hot. That's a good thing, though. That makes me feel good when we always worry about the deliveries or pickups being getting cold. Not to me. <laughs> We're moving right along. He has 23 minutes. Well, 23 and a half minutes. Left. I'll be shocked if he does not finish it. I'm really deep into these beans and at this point normally I wouldn't give out any compliments but these are still really really good.
get people coming in now. <laughs> for those that <laughs> for those that just tuned in, he's a beast. Yes, he is. Just we have. 13, over 13 minutes left and literally, oh, fries are gone. We're to the cornbread. Now let's see, drum roll please. Can he eat a piece of cornbread in 13 minutes? Over the area. All right, we have about 12 minutes left. Yeah. I got the cornbread uh, to get down and, and that's it. But this is a very big challenge. Oh, he's gonna eat it, Isabella. He still has 11 minutes. And all he has left is that morsel of cornbread. I don't know if it's melting in his mouth right now. <laughs> He had plenty of time where he could have took a nap before he did that cornbread. Beard is clear. <laughs> well, I guess we gotta wait for him to swallow. He only has nine minutes to swallow. New record, yes it is. There we go. 8.39 remaining. All right, so the time I finished in was 36 minutes and 10 seconds. This challenge was incredible. Everything was just so good. The meats were cooked perfectly. The other side items, the mac and cheese, super tasty. Even them being such a large amount and deep down into them, they were still really good. Some great food here at Milner's Southern Smoke. Definitely check them out if you're in the area. If you're not in the area, check them out and see if you can get here. This was an awesome barbecue challenge and my 135th challenge win. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next challenge.